Let me show you how Common IT makes it really easy to deploy and manage virtualized uh, development environment. We'll take the example of this open source project called Storyteller. It's a live streaming application written in PHP. The source code is available on GitHub. So just imagine you want to start developing for this project or at least installing it from the source. Well, you need a few requirements, a database, Apache, PHP frameworks. And if you want to uh, do the whole installation yourself from the source, it's, uh, it's a substantial procedure with various things that have to be properly configured. But you're a developer. You really just want to write software and not worries about installing all these components. So um, the project is Combox enabled, which means that if you have a Common IT account, so in this case, I'm going to use the Screencast account, you will be able to automatically deploy a virtualized development environment. So in this demo, I have a very a completely blank environment. So no application, no distribution, nothing is defined in my command IT. And I'm going to do everything through the Combox uh, API. So the first thing I do, of course, is to get the open source project on my local system. So that's a standard uh, GitHub uh, a Git clone. This brings on my local system all the source tree, but also this uh, combox um, folder, which contains the commodity recipes. You see it's um, this dot combox folder over there. So now I can immediately start using combox and I just type the combox setup command. This will um, use my community account to uh, create the required platform and distribution and upload all the different application recipes in order to be able to deploy a storyteller machine for me. So now if you look in the web client, you see there are new uh, entities that have appeared. And here I have two applications, one to deploy storyteller and one to manage the virtual box um, that we're going to uh, deploy with Combox. So the next step is to type combox deploy. And this will um, create a new host inside your community environment. And then it will attempt to deploy that host on your local system using VirtualBox. We are using the GPC uh, setup methods of common IT. So we're actually booting the VirtualBox machine on the common IT ISO which is chaining into community and installing the machine. So here it starts a regular um, CentOS kickstart based uh, installation. You see in community the machine is currently provisioning. So we are using um, here a kickstart, it's a CentOS, but um, any distribution supported by community, uh, Ubuntu, Debian, whatever, uh, just works in Combox. Deploying a machine with a kickstart on my system takes about 15 minutes, so I will uh, fast forward. In the future, we'll have uh, pre-built uh, boxes images to make it, uh, this process much faster. So this is coming, this on the roadmap. So here I've deployed a basic just enough um, operating system. So the machine is not completely ready yet. So we're waiting for it to finish uh, its boot and um, when it's done Combox will uh, continue its uh, install process. So now the machine is ready, Combox has detected that the host is ready and it's now installing the virtual box and the storyteller application on the machine. So all in all you see it all took almost 20 minutes so um, that's quite long, but on the other hand, I didn't have to do anything. And if I go on my system, on the port 8080, I have a storyteller which is running. So all the setup has been uh, done for me inside the virtual machine. Now the virtual machine is also available through SSH. Uh, port 22 is being forwarded uh, locally. So if I connect on 2222, uh, I'm on the virtual machine. And if I do it with the correct uh, username and password, I can actually even log in. Now on the VM, um, if we navigate to the Storyteller um, application folder, which is in user share, we see the Storyteller is available there. Uh, it is in fact the content of the GitHub that I've just pulled. So if I create a file on my local file system, like I'm doing here, 
this file is immediately available inside the virtual machine. So it's really the same, uh, the same content. Which means that I can use my laptop and my favorite uh, editors to develop and write code. So here I'm just uh, adding a, a bit of PHP uh, in the root folder. And that will be immediately available inside the virtual machine. So you do the development locally, but you execute your changes inside the VM. And that's really the, the beauty of virtualized development environment. It makes them uh, very repeatable and reusable. And when you're done developing, you just run combox stop. That will simply shut down the virtual machine. So you don't uh, waste precious resource running database and middleware that you don't need. If you work on the project again, you just launch combox start. It will resume the virtual machine. So eventually you can uh, connect and uh, restart your development. So virtualized development environment makes it also very easy to switch from one project to another uh, when these projects have different requirements. You don't have to maintain all these requirements on your local system. You can really isolate them in virtual machines which are mimicking the uh, production environment the closest possible way. So here I restarted the machine and if I look in the folder all the content is still there and my project is working fine. So of course it's also a commodity instance so I can use commodity to manage the configuration of that machine. So here if I switch uh, Storyteller into the debug mode by checking this box inside commodity, um, the required change will be taken on the virtual machine. So now if we look at the Storyteller configuration file we will see that uh, debug has been um, enabled. So all the recipes you write for Combox, you can reuse them inside ComnoIT for actually deploying real uh, production systems. When you are done, you can run the Combox teardown command. It will delete the virtual machine and do some uh, cleanup on your local system. And if you run the Combox cleanup, it actually removes everything from the commodity environment. So you are back to a blank environment inside ComnoIT. So that was a very uh, short introduction to Combox. I invite you to watch our other screencast on commodity.com. Thank you.